Take it away. This is Mike Pearl sitting here behind the camera once again with uh, Jared in the background operating the equipment. And uh, he has some questions that you've sent in, and I'm going to try to answer them. I've not seen them. I have no idea what he's asking. So I'm just going to let him shoot it to me, and we're going to see what we can find. What's the first question, Jared? It is believed that once we die, we go either straight to heaven or hell. If this is true, who are the dead that will rise in the rapture? Paul said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. He said, I have a desire to depart and be with Christ. And he said, oh, so I have a desire to stay with you. Now, uh, he said, it's more expedient, I think, if I abide with you. He said, but to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. In other words, let me illustrate it this way. Paul said, here was Paul on the earth in the presence of all the Christians. And he said, I'd like to stay here with you, be with you. He said, but I also have a desire to depart and be with Christ. He said, but when I die, And I am absent from the body. That is, something will be missing. The soul, which is part inside of our body, the soul will be missing. And it will be, he said, present with Christ. So Paul said that when he dies, he would be absent from the body, but he himself would be present with Christ. Now, if the soul slept, as some teach, and was unconscious for the next 2,000 years, then there'd been no advantage in dying. Paul would have been wrong when he said, absent from the body is present with Christ. And then he went on to speak of desiring the St. Corinthians to be clothed upon, to be clothed upon with his new body. And then he says there in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14, 15, and 1 Corinthians chapter 15, he speaks of the, let me, let me turn to that one in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and uh, read some of it to you. He said, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Uh, let me go up back up to 1544. He said, it is sown a natural body. It has raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body, two different bodies. He said, uh, and so it is written, I'm skipping uh, the first, uh, the first man, I'm skipping down um, verse uh, 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. The last trumpet, the trumpet shall sound. The dead in Christ shall rise. Uh, twinkling that, and the last trump for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. We shall be changed, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, this mortal must put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory, and so forth, so forth. Uh, then turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. He says, uh, excuse me, chapter 4. He says, uh, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ, this is Paul dead, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Uh, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, wherefore, uh, comfort ye one another with these words. So he says, verse 15, for this we send you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So the Bible calls this dead state sleep. This natural carnal body goes to the grave. The spirit goes to be with Christ. At the second coming, when Christ comes back, it said, those which sleep in Jesus will God, so this is the sleep, those which sleep in Jesus at that time will God bring with him. So here's somebody coming back with him while we who are alive and remain down here are waiting for his return. These which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. But then the dead in Christ, that's those that are in the grave right now, 
will rise first and be caught up to, to meet him in the air, and then we will be caught up, those who are living, right afterwards. So what you have is the dead bodies are in the grave, their souls are present with Christ coming back in the air, and they, that resurrection takes place moments before the, those who are alive are transformed and caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air, so shall we evermore be with the Lord. If you would like to ask a Bible question, email us at biblequestions at nogreaterjoy.org or call at 931-805-4820.